Hey guys, I think we can do this one all without the table. So this is the 16 ounce uh, Nalgene pouch from Arbor Arms. All right, it comes in a, a variety of colors, solid colors, a couple of bucks cheaper. Uh, camouflage is a couple dollars more expensive, but they're all on sale this weekend and uh, these things just dropped. Uh, they, I've known about it for a while. Uh, I just got mine this week and it is pretty sweet what it can hold. So uh, as you can see from what I got in here right now, a 16 ounce uh, Nalgene bottle. Arbor Arms is also pushing out some, some customized uh, Nalgene bottles. So if you don't have one yet, I didn't have one yet, pick one up while you're there. Uh, but the reason why I was really excited for this thing uh, first of all, it only takes up one column on your belt, uh, which means you should have a spot to fit this thing. Essentially anywhere on your kit, right? You probably have room for multiples of these, and you're probably going to want multiples of these once I show you what all fits in here. So uh, the big selling point to me is it fits the 16 and a half, 16.9 ounce water bottles uh, that you get all over Centcom, right? So it holds those nice and secure. Big, big selling point of this to me is uh, if you use water bottles as explosive tools or you've got a case of these in your range truck, you can just keep swapping these out and you don't have to worry about retaining the water bottle, right? So if the water bottle gets damaged or whatever, it's trash. Uh, if you need to blow it up, you just go get another one or you're just drinking them. Uh, you're pulling them out of the cab of the truck as you're working on the range or something like that. You keep dropping them in these. They're more manageable than like a 32 ounce Nalgene. Uh, they're not gonna bounce around on your belt as much. And it's a nice handy bottle to have. Uh, you know, some people might might frown on it, but if you're setting up a shot or something and you're going through these, you can just keep throwing them on the shot, right? And get rid of your trash right there. All right, so it fits those really well, which was the big selling point to me, All right? Uh, another thing that'll fit from a range, guys, is uh, it'll fit your commercial Motorola's. It does depend a little bit on which model you have. Uh, it won't fit a 152, but it'll fit these things. So if you're somebody that uses these stateside and then military radio is deployed or something like that, it makes a good bit of sense to keep this on your belt. Uh, then you've got your stateside radio. And when you don't need that, maybe you throw your, your military radio in your plate carrier or something like that. It folds up nice and compact, All right? In addition to that, it will also fit two M4 mags pretty cleanly. Under pressure, so this little, the clip is not like the most intuitive clip to use there, all right? But it will fit two M4 mags pretty clean. Uh, the, the one Molly footprint might make it move around a little bit more, uh, but you can easily please set up by running some shot cord uh, from the, the pouch around the front and then back to the pouch, uh, or, you know, even on your belt. If, if this is something that you want to do on the regular, uh, you could run shot cord around the pouch, uh, back to the Molly on your belt and that would work out fine or a non Molly belt. It would work out just as well too. So two M4 mags fit pretty cleanly in there. And then a 308 mag will fit as well. Granted, I got the, the tall 308 mags here with the, the Ranger plate. So the, the strap doesn't want to cooperate as much. Let's see if we can get this on here. Just around the side of the mag. So there you go. You can tuck that around the side of the mag. It gives you some retention and you can still get the magazine out. All right. You can always run longer shot cord on here if you want to. If this is something that you're going to do on the regular. Uh, you've got those options, all right? <clears throat> I will say, uh, if you're putting mags in here, actually, I'll show you on this one. <clears throat> if you're putting mags on here, it gets flat enough that you could have a two wide footprint, so it's not gonna be as stable as what would be a normal mag pouch. But as a kind of uh, placeholder pouch, right? You've got that one extra Molly column on whatever you're working with. It's a pretty solid option, right? So to hold, Multiple water containers, it'll hold commercial radios, and then uh, M4 308 mags as well. So really, really solid pouch. Uh, pretty affordably priced in all reality. I think they're you know, right around 30 bucks. Um, <clears throat> a lot of utility out of it. And like I said, you can always swap out this for a longer piece of shot cord if you need it. You can take the shot cord off if you don't. Uh, you've got a couple different options, all right? <clears throat> 
And then if you, you know, if you didn't want to deal with, with this clip here, uh, you could get a longer piece of shot cord and permanently route it through there and just have a pull tab on it so that it's always there. And if you're, you know, if you take it off of whatever, you just flip it to the side and flip it back. Uh, I wish I was still working the range because this thing would be killer out there and I would be uh, much better hydrated than I have been in the past. So thanks guys. Hope you got something out of this. Go check it out at Arbor Arms. Thanks.